The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Welcome to Real Agriculture's Wheat School series. I'm Kara Oosterhuis. Today I have with me Jeremy Boychin, who's the Agronomy Research Extension Specialist with Alberta Wheat and Barley. How's it going today, Jeremy? It's going good today, Kara. How are you? Oh, it's going great. So can you tell me a bit about what we're doing in the field today? Yeah, absolutely. We are in this field to look for disease and talk about um, the different leaves within a wheat plant um, and how tracking that disease moving up. Um, that wheat plant is going to determine when you're going to use a fungicide um, because there's certain leaves that play more of a role uh, in building yield than others. So the two biggest leaves that contribute to yield uh, on a wheat plant is your flag leaf and then your penultimate leaf. So the flag leaf is the last leaf that comes out before your head comes out uh, and then po the penultimate leaf is the one leaf below that. Um, so those contribute the most amount. The, the flag leaf contributes around 40%, 40 to 45%. Uh, the penultimate leaf is in the 20 to 25% range. But actually the head of the wheat plant actually contributes in that 20 to 25% range as well. And then the two leaves below the penultimate leaf uh, contribute around seven and 3% each. So when you're actually scouting these leaves, what are you looking for? Uh, so when I'm scouting a field and looking for disease, uh, I'm looking in a bunch of different spots and looking for the amount of moisture that's on the ground, um, especially in the morning and then the evening to see whether we're getting that continuous moisture throughout the day. Uh, and you're going to dig um, in the bottom part of that canopy to see if you're seeing any leaf disease spots. Um, spots like tan spot um, and septoria leaf complex, those are the main leaf diseases you're gonna see in wheat and what you're gonna be looking for. So you're digging in the bottom of the canopy because that's typically where you're gonna get the most amount of moisture and you're gonna get the most disease showing up first. That's because these diseases typically come from trash and residue uh, on the ground from previous crops. So then you typically see it in a higher crop residue then? Sometimes, not always. It really just depends on what kind of disease was in that crop that that, that residue is coming from. So if you had a lot of residue from a previous crop but it had no disease, um, it's less likely to provide disease to that next crop. But if you have a crop that had a lot of disease two or three years ago, you're more likely to see that disease popping up in that crop rotation later on. So when you're out looking at, say, that flag leaf and you're seeing damage, is there a certain percentage of damage you look for before you decide whether or not to spray? So on the flag leaf of wheat, generally the rule of thumb is about 20% uh, disease coverage is going to take away about 10% of your yield. Um, this is a rule of thumb. It's going to fluctuate a little bit, but really I don't want any disease showing up on my flag leaf or my penultimate leaf. And that's why I'm out there scouting beforehand. Um, I'm watching the weather conditions. I'm seeing if there's moisture in my field and I'm knowing what happened two or three years ago in my previous wheat crop. I know whether the, the variety that I selected has disease resistance for tan spot or septoria. Um, and I'm I'm gaining that information and I'm using that to go scout my fields and be prepared to spray before it gets to the penultimate leaf or to the flag leaf. Is it the time of year where producers should be looking for that right now? Yeah, so um, I would say um, you want to really start scouting once your uh, wheat plant starts to spread out and starts to tiller um, and starts to elongate. That's when you're really going to start to see some of that um, growth and you're going to get a lot more humidity in that canopy. So that's when you really want to start. However, uh, we're at the stage now where we're getting penultimate and flag leaves popping up. So now you want to make sure that you're out there and seeing what's in that bottom part of the canopy. Watching the weather, if you have disease in the lower part of your canopy, and you're continuing to get moist, uh, wet conditions coming into your field, um, you want to be checking to see whether that's advancing. So you're gonna go out and check that field every few days and see if that disease is advancing up to those uh, more yield bearing leaves. How would it be any different when it comes to scouting for something like rust when it comes to foliar diseases? So rust is a little bit uh, more aggressive of a disease and a little bit more impactful, well, a lot more impactful of a disease than, than say tan spot um, or septoria. Uh, so you really want to be on the ball if you're hearing of rust in the area. Um, hopefully you are looking at the um, wind trajectory forecasts that are coming in for Alberta to see if we're having rust spores coming in. 
Uh, and, and then if you are seeing that those moist conditions in your field, you want to be out there um, making sure that you're checking in your fields and seeing um, whether you're having any progress at all. Because if you see a little bit of rust in your field, even 5% leaf coverage, that's enough of a threshold for you to want to spray. Um, so you really need to be on top of whether you're seeing those wind spore, those spore trajectories coming into Alberta um, and watching those conditions in your field and knowing whether your variety is resistant to, to stripe rust or not. Anything else you'd like to tell producers in regards to fungicide timing? No, I think that's everything. Just go out there, make sure you're scouting. Um, before you are selecting varieties, uh, moving into following years, you want to make sure you're selecting varieties that have good disease resistance. If you're seeing these diseases pop up year after year, um, that's going to be the first line of defense. I see fungicide application as the last line of defense, um, but you want to make sure that your rotations are right, you're selecting the right varieties, you're using good quality seed, um, and you're using a good rotation. So if you're if you're utilizing all of these, fungicide should be your last ditch effort if you are seeing disease moving up your leaves. Okay, awesome, thank you very much. Thanks.